Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be taking this uh, intake cam out of this S52 cylinder head. The tools I'll be using are uh, just the, your standard uh, cam lock blocks. Uh, you need an 11 millimeter and you need an adjustable wrench. So this, uh, this cylinder head is already at top dead center. So we'll, uh, let's move this a little bit away so I can show you how you, how you, uh, how you put these blocks on correctly. So let's say this is slightly mistimed and you gotta find top dead center. The way to find it is that these two lobes need to be pointing towards each other. This will put the cylinder head at top dead center, but you, if you're working with the car with, where the cylinder head is still on the block, you have to check the position of the, the piston because there, uh, there are two positions where these two lobes will be pointing at each other like this. So once you get it close, um, you can take a look at the, at the uh, square ends of the camshaft here. And if you... If you Try to put these on, we're pretty far off. So the, uh, the way I do it is I get it kind of close and wiggle it back and forth and you can get it kind of close. And the place I'm grabbing it, there's, uh, there's wrench flats on both cams. So let's grab this one and get it kind of close. And as you wiggle it back and forth, you'll get it closer like that. Okay, so both both blocks are seated flush against the uh, against the cylinder head now, and if you uh, if you haven't figured it out yet these uh, these studs you have to take out the back too. The center one you can usually leave, but it depends on uh, it depends on which uh, cam tool you're using. Okay, so now that we've got that installed. Uh, we've got, um, if you look at the cam lobes, um, these lobes are not loaded, these are not loaded, this is fully loaded, these lobes are pointing straight down onto the lifters, these are pointing straight up, these and these are also not loaded, but you can't just take your wrench and just go crazy start, you know, and leave, the, and leave this one alone, um, because there is some preload on all these, so uh, let's start taking these out. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do, um, we'll break them all loose and then we'll do uh, like a quarter turn at a time and uh and uh this yeah should come right out and this is this is one of the few places on the car where you use an 11 millimeter i don't know many other places well, that's not gonna work Now, if you don't have cam blocks, what you can do is have your buddy put his adjustable wrench here and just hold it really steady. I think this camshaft is hollow, so you do have to worry about breaking it. And when you work on these, don't forget this cap here at the very front. Okay, so we've gone down, down the line. Start at the beginning and uh, we'll just give it about a quarter turn, quarter turn. And you'll feel the tension come right off here. Okay, and we'll do the other side here. There should not be much tension here. Just a quarter turn at a time. Okay, at this point, these should be pretty loose. We'll keep going a quarter turn though. Yeah, there's hardly any, any resistance here. So at this point, you've taken a preload off all the, all the lobes except this one. So what you can actually do, get your impact out, and just make sure you don't hit this one. Take all the other lobes off. Don't be clumsy like me. That cap is ready to come off. And these 
are numbered. So if you, uh, um, if you forget where they go, seven's at the back and one is at the front. It'll say E1, E2, E3, E4, and so on. We'll leave that one alone, keep going. Okay, at this point, you should have all but one of the caps off. So we'll go back to our hand wrench here, and we'll take this off, actually. Uh, make sure... I'll actually leave it on. Um, so we'll just do... Make sure the top and the bottom are being released somewhat equally. You don't want to take the top one, the top nut all the way off because you'll be wrenching on that one. And as you do this, you'll see the cam start to rise up out of the cam tray. And if I recall correctly, it'll pop right at the end. Yep. It's a little bit trickier going back in. I'll do a video on that later. Okay. So take this guy off. And you've got one intact camshaft. Now at this point, if, uh, if you want to uh, take the rest of this apart, you have to be careful with... Uh, I'll show you what happens basically. If you start lifting this guy out, which... Will be a little tricky. Um, I have to knock it loose a little bit. It's still sticky on a couple parts, but basically, um, if you take the cam tray out here, um, all the lifters will fall down. So there's a there's a couple tricks I've learned. Um, one is that you can use magnets to hold these lifters in place. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, flip the whole head upside down, and the lifters will stay inside the cam trays. Yeah, this one seems to be pretty pretty stuck. There we go. So you can see right here, as I lift the cam tray out, I don't actually want to lift it out. But the, um, the lifters will not necessarily come with with, uh, with the tray. So uh, once you get this out, you can get to all the all the valves there if that's what you're working on, or if you're changing the camshaft, you just put your new guy in. Um, maybe you're going to replace the, the lifters while you're in here. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, the purpose of me doing this is uh, so that I can get access to the, um, the, the valve train. Uh, I'm going to draw up, uh, well measure draw up, and then um, machine a tool that will let you um, remove the, uh, the valve train while the, car, while the head is still in the car. So the purpose of this is because I need to replace the valve stem seals on my car. Um, what you'll do is you'll take both camshafts out, both cam trays out, all the lifters, and then you'll put a, uh, a you'll charge this cylinder, assuming you're starting with cylinder one, you'll, you'll charge the cylinder with, um, with compressed air with the uh, piston all the way at the top. And that way, if, if for some reason you lose um, air pressure, the, um, the valves will not fall very far. Um, and then from the top, you can uh, take the, uh, the, the valve retainer and the keepers out uh, take the whole the valve springs out, and then you can get to the uh, valve stem seal. Uh, put it all back together, and then uh, just continue down the line. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.